All right. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. It is Martha of Just Martha Designs. And today we're going to do a weekly plan. And I want to talk about a few things because I created this weekly plan last, last week. And when I did my January 2019, and I had to fix quite a few things. So you'll notice that there are some things that are kind of like in pencil. And I'm going to talk about those in just a moment. But um, one of the things I have my, and I apologize if it keeps like going in and out, but I have my goals um, notebook here. And one of the things that I've been doing with my goals notebook is I journal and I've been journaling about how things are going because there are things that I wanted to achieve in 2019 and so when I created my January 2019 um, it was kind of a disaster and I do apologize really am kind of new at a lot of this planning um, but this is a learning process for me. And so um, looking at planning for the year, I ended up having to go back and look at things from a teacher perspective. So um, I am a teacher. Go on, get, get down, Mickey. Um, I am a teacher. And we plan for the year. Um, a lot of the students said, I don't understand why you keep saying um, that you're behind. Well, as a teacher, during those summer months and before school starts, the first thing that you do is you create long range plans, which means that you create a plan that's going to take you from the first day of the school year to the last day of the school year or at least you want to cover all your standards in there before you get to testing in May. Um, so I had to rely on some of my teacher skills to look at how I am reaching my goals for 2019. So one of the, one of the things that we do as teachers is we monitor after reflection, we monitor, we adjust, we reflect, we monitor, we adjust. <laughs> so, um, last week, I made it to about Wednesday. I'll say I made it to Wednesday. And what I realized on Wednesday was I still had not finished my to-do list for Monday. And I went, looking at it and reflecting on it, I had to take into account that this was the second day of the year. Let me pull my thing. The second day of the year. And I'm upset because I still had not finished my to-do list that I made myself out for Monday, which was the 31st. And I'm still trying to get all of this accomplished. Notice that there are no check marks on here because I still did not manage to do anything. Uh, the only thing that I did was I added this because I had to run and drop off a package at the post office. So I ended up adding this and I did accomplish that. Um, but there were a lot of things that I did not get finished with and I had to look at why. So reflecting on why. And what I discovered was I was trying to do all of my goals, all of my goals right away. 365 days, 364 days. 363 days, 362 days. I'm not taking into account the fact that I have a lot of days to complete my goals. I became frustrated because I was behind and that has a lot to do with the fact that I am a type A personality and a perfectionist at times. 
So this was not working. And there were a lot of things that I still was that I, I still was behind. So I needed to come up with a new plan. So that was the pencil. And I did it in pencil because there were things I would probably change, things that I needed to do. And so that brings me to the coming week, which is what I'm here for, is to plan for the coming week. And the first thing that I did, and you'll see that I've already put this on there, and I'm going to flip this. I have here, let me see if I can get it focused. Let's do it this way. So, I have divided up my weekly plan by my personal things to do with the house and business. So, kind of my chicken scratch. I'm going to actually make some stickers that I will do this once I make sure that this is going to be a plan that's going to work. Um, and so one of the things that I needed to do was I wanted to split everything up and I'm doing things on certain days. So looking back, I divided everything up and this is kind of how I do my plan for school. And that's one of the things that made me think about this was I do the same kind of thing and my lovely pen that I love so much decided to quit on me and I've got to get new refills so um and they were out of refills when I went to the store I'll have to wait until I can make it to an office supply store um but I wanted to divide these sections. So I know that this is the house section. And one of the things that I remember when my children were little and I was stressed about trying to keep the house clean was I went to a website uh, that I found online and it was flylady.net. And she always talked about organizing your life and you can do anything for 15 minutes a day. So I decided to spend 15 minutes each day because I teach, I work long hours, and when I come home at night, the last thing that I want to do is to spend two hours cleaning house, and the last thing I want to do is spend a whole entire Saturday cleaning my house. I don't want to do that. By the time the weekend rolls around, I need downtime. And so I decided what rooms could I focus on each day for 15 minutes a day and so what I came up with was my plan um, that on Mondays I would spend 15 minutes decluttering my kitchen and I went back and forth about that but considering the fact that our trash pickup is on Tuesday. So that means if I spent time going through, say, the refrigerator, cleaning out things out of the refrigerator or things that need to be thrown away, it would go trash, be taken off on Tuesday. So that was the reason behind me putting every, the kitchen for Monday. So this would be a decluttering where I go through, straighten up things, spend time sweeping, mopping the floor, 15 minutes, that's it. 15 minutes is all that I'm spending on that. Um, on Tuesday, the bathroom, on Wednesdays, my craft and office room, and I know that I'm only spending 15 minutes each day, then getting over to here, I'll go ahead and draw my line. And this may sound like kind of redundant to do this. Um, on Thursday is my living room. And then on Friday was my bedroom. And then Saturday is usually when I am focused on laundry and I'm usually focused on laundry because 
there are things that you know you're having to uh, change bed sheets you're having to make sure that you hang everything up and so saturday is a little bit easier for me to do laundry um, and get that all finished up so now going back to that takes care of the house now going back to business and i will tell you that when it comes to doing this for 15 minutes that this worked out wonderful for me and I set a timer had music going and I went hard for those 15 minutes that is I did not stop it was constant if there was something that needed to be moved to another room I just kind of put it into a stack or a pile somewhere and then once that room was finished I picked that stuff up and took it to where it belonged um, so this worked out well and I liked it. I may end up changing around the days. I don't know at this point, but this is like how I'm planning to do this for now. Um, currently, I don't have anything else going on as far as the house is concerned. And so I could probably split this up and put another section in here. And so I'm thinking about what I'm planning to do for that. Um, as far as the business focus, this is when I'm focused because I have so many different things that I enjoy doing and I end up feeling is that feeling like as though I am trying to work on everything at one time and so I decided um, that I would give myself a way to work on things and keep it as I'm focused on this I'm focused on this and I'm focused on this so um, right now I have Mondays as my Stampin' Up! Day, and for Tuesday is Fiber Art, and that is sewing, anything to do with, um, anything to do with fiber. So my quilting, sewing, knitting, um, whatever it is that I decide to do, and that's kind of nice because if I decide that I don't want to work in my craft room, um, I can always take a ball of yarn and knitting needles or something to the living room and watch TV and do that at the same time and not feel like I'm losing out on something. So um, Wednesday, I'm going to focus on card making. That goes with my stamping up. And I will talk about how I do those two um, on Thursday. This is when I am working in, thanks for my, <laughs> Mickey, you're going to have to go. You can't stay up here um, for my Etsy shop. So items that go in my Etsy shop, I will work on those on Thursdays. And I forgot what Friday. I should have written that down so I didn't have to keep flipping back and forth. All right, so that's changing up. I did notice that because that was something I journaled about today. Um, so what I'm going to do for Friday is I'm also going to work my Etsy shop because this is something that I'm trying to grow. And then Saturday will be focused on YouTube. And then I take Sunday as a day off. And that's because this is sun. Oh, let me slide it over so you can see. So Saturday's YouTube and then Sunday, this is the day that I end up, I take a day off from everything because I'm generally concerned more about uploading my um, lesson plans, getting things ready and coordinated for Monday. So nothing on Sunday, I take the day off. All right, so that's taking care of that. Um, looking ahead, so if I'm planning and I've split this up, so for personal, it is back to work. And on Monday. So I am back to work on Monday. And I don't think that I have anything else going on on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, so 
Um, and this will probably change for my personal in the week. Um, this changes because things may change um, at work and things I have to add in here. So that's that's good for right now. Um, for the business focus, for my Stampin' Up, it is um, the occasions and celebration. And so I want to actually create some Facebook posts for that and an Instagram post and I can schedule those ahead. Um, I also needed to share video and my cat's mad at me. All right, so um, looking ahead on Tuesday, I, I think I've got everything cut. I may cut a few more squares or triangles rather. I've been working on a quilt for years. I need some white fabric and I haven't purchased any yet so I'm pretty much to the point of as far as I can go. Um, card making, the focus right now is simple cards and so I'll be creating a few more of those. Um, And I have a new die that I really want to try out, and that is for a pop-up card. And I may get to that. All right, and so and. Finish February kit. I am creating a sticker kit for my Etsy shop. Um, and I've been working on that a little at a time. And I need to set a date for when it's going to be finished. But for right now, I'm trying to get my template in place. Um, and so that'll probably cover two days. And then for YouTube, I am edit video and record weekly, which is what I'm doing now. All right, so that takes care of all of that. Um, like I said, I don't have anything going on right now for personal, but I do, I'm going to go visit a church on next Sunday. I think I'm going to do Alright, so I need to find out the time because I don't know what time they start. Um, but yeah, it looks good so far. Hopefully it's my goal that this is going to work and I'll let you know because I will have done a full week of this and a full week of this and so hopefully by next Saturday when I create another um, weekly plan with me video I will actually have something to add and I love this right here because this reminds me of last week um, mistakes are proof that you're trying I could have very easily have said, that's it. Two days in, 
I give up on trying to plan and reach my goals. So, mistakes are proof that you're trying. Really good advice. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'm new to this. I'm new to planning my life. So if you if you have any advice for me on how I can improve, you can put those in the comments below. Um, I I'm open to suggestions and I really trust me I don't get offended by constructive criticism um, because those are how we learn and also if there's anything that you would like to see let me know that in the comments below as well I hope that you have a great week a fantastic week um, think about me school starts back on the 7th and it's going to be a long way um, till another day off, <laughs> if you will. Um, but, you know, I hope that everything goes well for you. I'm praying it goes well for me. And until later, bye.